was the night before Christmas and I have every idea what you guys might be up to. Hey, it's Lucy here with a Merry Christmas message to you all. Maybe you are frantically finishing up with present wrapping, thinking about how you're gonna put the gifts under the tree. I love to put them all out and have it as a lovely surprise when the children come down. Um, maybe you're thinking about the stealth Santa moves to get those stockings perfectly positioned for them to wake up to. Um, I remember one year actually having the Tooth Fairy and Santa needing to visit on Christmas Eve. <laughs> so all these things us mothers have to think about. I have a few tips for you to help you get through the next 24 hours or so. Um, and also to try and preserve some of the energy levels in yourself and in your children so that you're not paying for it for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> First one is, if you use a sleep-wake clock, if you use one of these clocks that tell your children when to start the day or when they're allowed to get up, don't break the rules. Now that sounds Scrooge-like, doesn't it? Like, well, why? It's Christmas morning. Why can't they get up a bit earlier? That's fine. If they can and you're happy with that, manipulate the clock. Tell the clock that it can wake up at five and then you know your kids can wake up at five. <laughs> or, or keep the rule as it is, but stick to it. Whatever you decide, just make sure that the clock knows um, what your rule is for that particular morning and that way your child isn't left going, ah, so I don't have to do what the clock says. Is that what you're saying, mummy and daddy? <laughs> um, so just pick one of those, either stick to it or change it, but don't break the rules. Yeah, an older child would probably understand if you told them that it's okay because it's Christmas, but younger ones don't get that so easily. And especially if you're just making headway with training them to obey the clock, um, even more reason to stick with that. The second one I'm gonna give you here, if your child is still napping in the daytime, then don't forget that sleep tomorrow. It's easily done when there's so much going on, but actually all the more reason why they probably do need it. So make sure they still get their daytime nap tomorrow. If it's a quick push chair walk, maybe a member of the family can take them out for a little ride and they can go off to sleep that way because going to sleep in a heavily stimulated environment might be a little tricky. But get that daytime sleep in, it will pay dividends in uh, making sure they're well rested and not an overtired wreck. <laughs> the next one I have for you is on Christmas day night, after the busyness of the day, try to get an early night, maybe yourself, but definitely your children. Um, the, after all that excitement, an early night on that night is gonna help them sustain that energy to carry on and replenish some of the probably lost sleep um, that they need that to then be able to carry on with the festivities and fun of Christmas time. And you know, most importantly of all, the biggest tip I have for you is enjoy Christmas, enjoy your time with your family. There's every chance you're gonna think, well, of course, but actually it's so easy for us to get caught up in catering and making sure everything is just so, and wanting to be sure everybody has a wonderful time, and you have these ideas of just how perfect you want it all to be. But actually, you fail to then show up and be there. I mean, you're physically there, but are you mentally completely there? engage with your family, watch those kiddies' faces, interact with them. It will bring them more joy, it will bring you more joy, and it will be a so much more of a fulfilling and memorable Christmas time for you all. So have a wonderful Christmas with your families and a very happy new year.